I don't know whether you were just dating or whether you just got married, but there was a Christmas when you really dropped the ball. Oh, God, yes. Uh... It was our first. It was our first Christmas as a married couple. So we go back to her family's place in Colorado. We're going to spend Christmas there with them. And leading up to it, I said to my wife, I said, "Well, what do you want for Christmas?" And she said, "Nothing, nothing, nothing." And I said, "No, no, no. But really, what, what do you want for Christmas?" And she said, "Nothing." And I made the mistake of believing her. <laughs> <laughs> so then Christmas Day good comes noise, around. Good noise, everyone. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. That's 600 people going. Oh, what so you're an all idiot. Married. You get it. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> So then Christmas morning, everybody's opening presents. We're giving presents to the kids, for her parents, for her siblings, for significant others. Everyone gets presents. And all of a sudden, I see my wife kind of looking around, <laughs> noticing that there's really nothing for her. And then she looks at me, and I go, what? What? Oh. And she's like, oh. OK. And then uh, everyone finished doing the present thing, and we went downstairs, and she just started crying. And she was like, this is our first Christmas as a married couple with my parents? What is wrong with you? And I was like, you told me nothing. And she goes, and you believe me? <laughs> now I know, as a man who's been married almost nine years now, that you all speak in code that we're just supposed to understand. I'm still not fluent, but I think I'm getting better. Yes. Because, uh, Rob, you're, you're married, right? Yes. yes you're married. And Did you ever make the same mistake? No, I'm not an idiot. What the? <laughs> I walked right into that one, but, yeah. No, but if, yeah. you know, if I was six at five and a Hollywood actor, I don't think she'd mind if I... <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, she would. <laughs> I'm telling you, she would.